Although the oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, we still know very little about them. Even the surface of the Moon has been more thoroughly investigated than the seafloor itself. What role does the ocean play in the Earth's system? The Marum, Center for Marine Environmental Sciences at the University of Bremen, deals with this question. For this purpose, the Cluster of Excellence, the Ocean in the Earth's System, was established. The scientists here concentrate on three fields of study. Interaction between ocean and climate, biogeochemical processes at the sea floor, and the dynamics of sediment processes. Marum researchers investigate both shallow, coastal areas as well as the deep sea. The Bremen scientists here participate in cruises on German and international research vessels. They apply state-of-the-art technology on their expeditions. The deep sea drill rig MIBO was developed at Marum. For more than four decades, ocean sediments have been drilled within the framework of international research programs, along with the help of special vessels at present within the Integrated Drilling Program, IODP. With MIBO, the Marum researchers can drill sediments for the first time from normal research vessels. The scientific treasures from the sea floor are stored worldwide in three core repositories. One of them is situated at the Bremen Marum. In the four degrees Celsius cold reefer, around 140 kilometers of drilled cores from the Atlantic and Arctic Oceans and the Mediterranean and Black Seas are archived. Investigations of the sediments and rocks have fundamentally changed our pictures of the Earth. Yeah, from the composition of the sediments and the rocks, we can uh, reconstruct the history of the Earth. For instance, how the continents and oceans are positioned uh, how life developed, uh, where uh, organisms, uh, plants and animals lived on Earth, and also how climate developed on Earth. Climate and environmental data from the past helped the marine researchers to create scenarios for the future conditions on Earth. Using data from the sediment cores, they test and improve mathematical climate models. Through these efforts, the so-called foraminifera are useful. These microscopic fossils help scientists to trace the oceanic environmental conditions of past epochs. Well, the ocean has a very big influence on, on a number of, of processes by, for example, carrying huge amounts of, of heat from the equator to the poles. And if you disturb the sea transport, you will have effects on, on the temperature distribution, but also on, for example, rainfall patterns on, on land. It is a fact that the ocean and climate influence each other. Here, geological, biological, and chemical processes, both at and below the seafloor, play an important role. In order to investigate these processes, Marum scientists use remotely operated vehicles, such as MarumQuest which can dive to a depth of 4,000 meters. Its cameras supply images of a variety of deep sea phenomena, such as methane gas, which bubbles from the sea floor, or which under high pressure and low temperatures, changes into a solid compound, similar to ice, the so-called methane hydrate. Such gas hydrates can, if they are set free, heat up our climate. On the other hand, gas hydrates are under discussion as a possible source of energy for the future. The large amount of methane hydrates in the oceans are very important because those large amounts are uh, possibly giving methane to the atmosphere and in the atmosphere they are working as a, as a greenhouse gas and could influence our climate. Cold seeps on the ocean floor are like oases in the deep sea. Here life is booming. However, it is not only crabs, mussels and other macroorganisms that are important. Bacteria on and in the sea flora are the basis for the biological processes in the deep sea. They make up about one-third of the total biomass of the Earth. Antje Boetius, Leibniz Award winner, studies these minute organisms. She works at various research institutes and represents a special characteristic of the Bremen Cluster of Excellence, the close and diverse scientific cooperation, locally, nationally, and internationally. So we have a number of research institutions in the marine sciences in Bremen, Bremerhaven, Wilhelmshaven and Oldenburg and all of us are close together, not only uh, in terms of geographical distance but also intellectually. We have a number of projects that we develop together. The polar researcher can meet the tropical researcher and it's a short distance between everyone. It's easy to organize meetings and in the end it's about humans meeting each other and talking to each other to uh, design new projects and that's what makes uh, Bremen excellent. In order to function smoothly at sea, Marum scientists trained for the deployment of the diving tool Quest by using a simulator on land. 
Here they can practice the use of various different equipment and can diagnose and repair technical errors at sea. At present, the researchers are developing software that will make virtual training possible to bring it even closer to reality. From dry training in the preparation hall and back to sea again, it is here that Marum researchers aim at getting closer to their goals, to discover more about the role of the ocean in the Earth system. Their findings will be useful to humans in the future, not only regarding changes in climate, but also shedding light on the sustainable use of the world's oceans. Mm -hmm.